Uh, Namaste, everyone. Christian Arlong, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Saturday evening. I know it looks like I'm about to film a horror movie, but that's not actually the case. Uh, I'm here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, one of my favorite, my top, one of my top favorite mountain towns of all time. And I came here with a friend to do um, hang out in the springs and just got a quick bite to eat and then getting back on the road to go back to Denver. It's about a three, three hour and 20 minute drive. Hopefully there'll be no traffic at this time of the night. But keeping with my commitment of giving you guys live streams each and every day, typically in the evenings about energy healing, meditation, or practical spirituality, I thought to myself, what would be an interesting, relevant topic to you guys? And I thought about, well, my body just finished eating. And then I realized, oh, well, the foods that we eat, the medications that we take have certain colored pranas or energies attached to them. Pat, I'm a namaste. Long time. Good to have you on as always. So the foods that we eat and the medicines that we take and the herbs that we consume have certain pranas or colored energies now you might be saying well wait a minute i thought all energy was white when i do reiki when i do laying of the hands when i do quantum healing quantum touch i thought it was just all white well on one level of truth that is accurate but as people get trained in how to do colored energies or colored pranas it changes the properties of the energy so for instance Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui wrote a book many years ago in the um, early 90s called Advanced Pranic Healing and it is the most comprehensive book in the world on the properties of colored energy and how to use those color energies to accelerate the healing rate of a person by 3 to 400% over white energy or white prana. So the color red dilates and it accelerates and speeds up. So if somebody has a physical injury, what do they need more of coursing through their system to heal faster? They need more red energy at certain parts, at certain increments, for the body to accelerate its healing rate. Now, if somebody has a fever and their body is super hot, would it make sense to increase red energy in their system? to increase dilation, not really. You would want to bring the temperature down, bring the fever down of a person, and use a different, what's up, Mark? Long time, son. Hope you're doing well. Hope your vacation in Mexico was good. That was pretty much the last time we've seen you on a stream. That's not true, we saw you two more times, but it was spread out over several months. So good to have you on, man. Lots of love from, from the Denver area. So the point is, there are certain colors that have dilating properties. There are certain colors that have constricting properties. One of the most common, one of the most commonly used colors, colored energies or colored pranas is green prana or green energy. And in the advanced prana healing class, you're taught how to generate these colors for healing purposes. So green prana or green energy is like, is like Clorox bleach for the inner world. It breaks up congested energy, disease energy. So you can use it for almost any kind of physical or emotional ailment and have positive effects from it. So do you think if everything has a kind of prana attached to it, do you think if you learned what those colored pranas are, it could improve your health and well-being or decrease your health and lead to sickness and disease? Obviously, yes. So, here's a question that is the most consumed beverage on the planet. Not soda, not even water, if you believe this one, because beverages have water already built in. It's coffee. So Mark's planning again next year, Punta Cana. Punta Cana? Nice. Guy's an animal. 
Atma Namaste, my new Facebook friend. I'm sorry, your name is very difficult for me to say. Enka Jargal. Yeah, I think I actually said that right. Welcome. I'm glad that we're now connected on Facebook the past couple of days. So, the most consumed beverage on the planet is coffee. What colored energy or prana is connected to coffee? Orange. Orange prana. So I'm not going to go into all the properties of orange prana. You can look it up in the Advanced Prana Healing Book. But one of the major properties of orange prana is expelling. Is expelling. So have you noticed in the morning when you drink coffee, what do you immediately have to do 20 to 30 minutes after? You have to pee or you have to poop because it produces orange prana in the solar plexus in the navel chakra and it makes you have to do those movements but if you just ate food do you want to digest and assimilate or do you want to expel do you want to digest or assimilate or do you want to expel you want to digest and assimilate right so if you eat a bunch of food your solar plexus chakra is energetically producing more green prana the energy that breaks things down, that digests things, than it is of producing other colored energies. But if you introduce orange prana into your system, you're negating, to a degree, the green energy that is in your solar that's being produced by your solar plexus chakra. So it's best to drink coffee on an empty stomach. Or it's best to eat your food, digest for an hour, and then have your cup of coffee versus doing both of them at the same time because that will lead to indigestion. And Mark was right. Take a piss. Exactly. Adam, what's up? I'm a namaste. <laughs> Mark says, I run on Dunkin's. For those of you who do not know, Mark and I come from Massachusetts where every other city block has a Dunkin Donuts on it. So if you're in New York City or you're in Seattle or you're in LA, you're pretty much going to see a Starbucks in every little block. But in Massachusetts, New England area, it's Dunkin Donuts everywhere. Their coffee's good, but it's weaker than Starbucks. But that's how we roll. Light and sweet all the way, baby. There's a really funny YouTube video of Ben Affleck's brother. I forget his brother's name. But just type in um, Dunkin' Donuts SNL, like Saturday Night Live, SNL Dunkin' Donuts, and it will come up with the skit on YouTube. It's very, very funny. So, what is the point of tonight's conversation? It's simply to plant the seed into your consciousness to recognize that the foods that we eat, the medicine that we take, the herbs that we consume have colored energies and colored pranas attached to them that affect us in certain ways. Some positive, some negative. East Coast out. Love you, Mark. So if you're going to consume coffee, which is primarily orange prana, which is expelling, which is an expectorant, right? When you have congestion in your lungs and you take... Um, you take an expectorant from an over-the-counter over, over the counter at Walgreens or CVS. That is actually orange prana. Cancer. Cancer medicine is orange prana. And funny enough, the bags themselves, the medicine itself, is orange. It's an expectorant. It's getting rid of. It's flushing out the system. But too much orange prana can make you depleted, weak, and sick. Have you noticed people that get chemo? What happens? Lose their hair. They get super weak. They, they lose their appetite. So those are some of the properties of having too much excessive orange prana in your system. Yo, get me in live video. All right, hold on. How do I do this? Man. Mark, there used to be a, there used to be a button that I could make you go live. Uh, we'll have to try it next time, guys. Anyways, so I hope that helps. I hope that gives you guys some nuggets to think about. Again, 
I'm planting seeds. I recommend at some point in your incarnation learn pranic healing. If you haven't taken pranic healing, it's taught in Denver pretty much every two months, but it's taught all over the world in over 90 countries. Sometimes they teach it every month, sometimes they don't teach it for six to 12 months, depending upon if there's a certified instructor in your area. But in the Midwest and West Coast, you can go to pranichealing.com, look it up. And on the East Coast, you go to pranichealingusa.com and look at a class schedule. And outside of the United States, there's other websites you can go to, but most of my audience are from the United States. So that's it, guys. If you are in need of healing, physical, emotional, relationship, financial, spiritual, career, life's purpose, definitely go to christianarlong.com slash services and find, um, basically sign up for a healing session and let's transform your life. I have 14 years of experience of helping people shift from where they are to where they want to be in record time. And that's it keeping my promise to you guys of a live stream each and every day. This is uh, Christian Arlong from Steamboat Springs wishing you a beautiful night, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. Atma. Namaste. Bye-bye.